guys, I have tried filming this video twice now, and both times and it has ended at it has it has ended up with like 12 minutes of footage, and I don't feel like editing at all right now. Today, I of course, got my coffee. This coffee. These are David Tennant's legs, and these are Matt Smith. Well, the shoes mainly. But apropos, can you say that in English? Apropos, nah, yeah, weiß nicht. Uh, my German is coming through. <laughs> Basically, I have watched so much, so many series because I have Netflix. So. This week I watched one season of, at least one season of The Big Bang Theory, if not more. Because I always watch Doctor Who. I watched like one and a half seasons. I literally went through, I literally went from Wowie to, and now I'm in the third, from Wowie and Amy to... Clara in like three days, so, which is usual, but I can't imagine how people rated ages between that because I'm watching Doctor Who for the first time now. I'm watching it through like endlessly, which I probably shouldn't do because I'm not contemplating it enough. I had the same thing with Sherlock. I got the first season on DVD like three months ago and I watched it in two days. Which isn't good, because I always say, and I've recommended it to family, friends, and friends, and my family a lot in the past three months, and I always say, you watch one season, and you watch one episode today, and then you wait at least a week, and you have to contemplate every single scene, and think about it a lot, and then you're allowed to watch the next season, because that's kind of what's, how the shows are noticed but I've always watched Doctor Who but it, it's kind of scary for me most of the time because I'm not really a sci-fi person and then directly after that I watched the Big Bang Theory so I kind of will chill down and I don't dream about the monsters before I go to bed. I had the same thing with How I Met Your Mother. I watched one and a half seasons. I watched the entire ninth season and a few episodes from the first, which I hadn't seen in German before, because I, I'm in Germany and I can watch Netflix with German and English now, I can decide. But the subtitles are always in German, which is kind of annoying. Well, almost always. Oh well. And I also watched, like, three episodes of Sherlock, which isn't good, but... Yeah. I've also, I wrote an essay this week. Which I guess is for some people usual, but for me not. For me it isn't. But it was a f reflection to my class trip to Italy, which I came back from the Friday before last Friday. So the last Friday of September, I guess it was. 16 hour, 16 hour bus drive and I sat on my own which I know people who always have kind of I guess friends don't know the feeling but if you sit on your own bus ride you might have a lot of space but you do feel quite lonely because in a we were on a trip with 67 people yep and we had 70 places on the bus then you're one of the three people that sits alone. That is sad. And I was basically the person nobody sat next to, which is kind of sad. But I sat right be behind two friends of mine and I kind of slept like 10 hours on the bus trip. Because we always stopped every two hours or three hours for a toilet break. Basically, so it was always like, go for two hours, three hours, fall asleep, go again for three hours. And I missed something because at the moment, because we went through Austria, and at the moment on the Austrian-German border, they c control it for migrants, well, for refugees. 
And we had a refugee in our class and he had been to Germany for like not long, like three weeks. And then my teachers basically had to convince quite a lot of people that he was allowed to come with us and he apparently had a panic and I wasn't asked to leave the bus. Apparently everybody had to get out, get checked, show all their papers or basically a passport and then get into the bus again and that is like three in the morning and I missed it. I completely missed it. I don't know how but somehow they didn't notice me sleeping and I had two places so I was like sitting across and I missed it and I can't remember it. That apparently a refugee had kind of a panic attack about a bit because of course he was afraid they were going to send him back to Syria or something but they of course didn't because he had all his papers and everything. That was apparently dramatic, but I missed it. <laughs> Italy was nice, by the way. Just commenting on that. And on the trip, I had this box and another box filled with sweets. This one mainly biscuits. And then when I was, well, when I was back, I hadn't eaten a lot of them. I didn't eat a lot on the bus trip anyway, because we ate right before. We left at like 6 p.m. and we arrived at 9 a.m. So then I had breakfast when I was back home. But I still had, I ate some sweets but not a lot. So I told my mom I have like this box of sweets. Then Tuesday morning I was already, no Wednesday morning I was already up because I want to finish that essay. And I'm somebody that likes working early. So I was up at 4 p.m. I was 4 a.m. I was still in bed. And I was kind of looking at my phone. Then I had somebody outside the door. And usually it's not my dad because my parents sleep upstairs and by and there's another toilet there. But most of the time, if I hear somebody really early in the morning, it's my mom because she often falls asleep on our couch or sofa, and she often likes working at weird times, like from 2 a.m. to 4 a.m. Just for instance. So uh, she came into my room, walked past my bed, which is basically here, walked past, and I have my nightstand standing there because it didn't, doesn't fit in my room or any. Well, so I have, stand, I have it standing on the other side of my room now with my CD player on it and some things in the compartment below anyway. She walked, she kind of got over the humendous amount of stuff which is lying around in my room now took the box, opened it, took herself a biscuit, and walked out of my room again. And that's such a common thing for her to do. <laughs> it has, well, it's not so common, but it has happened a few times in my life already, and I'm not just like, okay, oh. Yeah. I also discovered my sister has a lot of stuff left. Nothing happened to my foot, by the way. I just like wearing that most of the time. And my sister has a lot of stuff, I noticed, and she's currently in Australia studying, so she left most of her warm clothes because she usually, she had last, year, last year she studied in Scotland, so we now have like six pairs of woolen socks and stuff like that. But she also left a onesie, so yep, I'm sitting bottom part of me is onesie right now and top part is like nice shirt I'm over really getting into the youtuber thing I guess yeah that is basically what my life has been like I hope you enjoyed it I'm sorry but this video isn't really edited I'm not a good editor and I don't have much time I'm I'm taking part in, in like um I guess university where you can go if you're year 11 to year 13, so that's what I'm doing from tomorrow on for the next week. I will report about that to you next week. Bye! See you next week!